Hello, everyone. It is time for my Facebook Live. Sorry, I'm a couple minutes late. Um, my youngest son had called, and so we were on the phone with him, and I all of a sudden realized it was time to come do my live. So I'm just a couple minutes late, but we will get going here. I am going to get this shared. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. To my group, to my page, my, no, my group, sorry. I'm all flustered now. All right, hello. Um, so that if somebody's looking for it on the group instead of a page, they can find it there. So we'll get that going. Um, if this is your first time joining me for Facebook Live, I do this every Wednesday. We make something fun. The next week I give away the card. So next week somebody will win this card. Last week we made this fun fold with the watercolor melon. This um, stamp set is something you can get free with a $50 purchase. Tonight we're going to um, make one with the submarine life. Sorry, I'm working on my laptop too. So this is the stamp set. All right, let's get this shared. And then we will be ready to go. <clears throat> I have a new laptop, so it works much better. And it's so much faster. Oh my goodness, my other one was just, would drive me nuts. It would take two minutes just for one click. Okay, we are shared. So this is in the new mini catalog. I call it the spring mini catalog. So I'm trying to get it out here. So let me show you what this page looks like in here so you can see some other um, ideas. And then I also have some that I made that I'll show you at the end. So here is Submarine Life. There's some other examples. Um, I love how they turned it upside down and made it um, a Zeppelin. A hot air, or a, yeah, a Zeppelin or a blimp. So... Let's get started. Let me put that somewhere out of the way. Okay. So let's make our fun little submarine here. I'm going to get... These are photopolymer stamps. Oh, and also, if this is your first time, um, after I'm done, I will put on my blog the dimensions for everything. So if you... Hey, buddy. Um, if you want to make this yourself or one similar, then you'll have all the dimensions. So let's make our submarine first. I just have some scraps of basic white. And we're going to do this submarine in um, smoky slate. And because it's photopolymer, um, I use the stamp and pierce mat. <clears throat> and that just gives it a little extra cushion. I didn't have time to grab my glass mat tonight. I'll just stamp that. Oh, he's so cute. All right. And then let's do, I have a piece of crumb cake and I'm just going to tear the top of this. So it looks kind of like sand. So it's like the bottom of the ocean. I'm tearing it towards me because I want this rough edge. <clears throat> Let me get oops, a piece of scratch paper. Things are falling everywhere. And then I'm going to take crumb cake and my blending brush. And we're just going to add a little bit more color to this. It's not a lot, but it just kind of brings out that rough edge. Makes it look a little bit more like sand to me. Alright, take that out of the way. And then let's go ahead and punch out. We'll see if I can do this. When I'm doing this myself, I can um, sometimes stamp on these after they're punched out. I did make this narrower so I won't be 
the propeller we won't get. But the little periscope we will. All right, because it, that, it punches out the propeller, the periscope, and the submarine. Okay. This little guy is going to be Knight of Navy. So we'll see if I can stamp him on. If not, then we'll just stamp it again and punch him out. Because I don't know that I'll be able to get over it well enough. To see it. Oh. Hey, that's pretty good. You don't have to do that. You can, by all means, stamp it and then punch it. Like we're going to do with our propeller. So I have another piece of scrap. Basic white. This is real red. And we're going to take our propeller. And stamp him. The punch is at an angle. It's always a good idea. Let me grab the punch again. Where did I set it? It has to be. Oh, here it is. <laughs> it's always a good idea to kind of see how they're oriented when you start stamping. Um, so you know where to stamp them on your paper. And then we're also going to stamp. We'll just do it on this piece too. A little crab. He's so cute. So we'll do him in real red also. And then the last thing, should have done this while I had the Knight of Navy out. But on our crumb cake, we're going to stamp happy birthday. So this is Knight of Navy. And we'll stamp it down in this corner. Trying to make sure I get it all inked up well. There we go. All right. That is all of our stamping. Set that aside. We don't need our pad anymore. We do need to punch out our propeller. So let's do that. Not lose any of our pieces. And then for the crab, you just have to fussy cut him. So just take your snips and cut around him. You want to leave a little bit of white around him. Um, that way, when people are looking at him, they just see the stamped image. And they don't notice if your cutting is not perfect. But I thought he was too cute. We'll get him all cut out, and then we'll be ready to put everything together. Now I am using one celebration item on this card, and that is the ribbon. So it's a pool party crinkle ribbon, I think it's called. Um, and you can get it free with a $50 purchase. It's really pretty. But it seemed... Well, we're use, we have a pool party on our card, so it was a good fit. All right, just go. And I'm not going to cut in between all of those little feet. And there we go. Now we have our little crab. All right. We are ready to bring in all of our pieces. That. Oops. Our ribbon and our card base and again all of this will be on my blog after this video is over so first I want to put my pool party on this is Knight of Navy and I want to use um, liquid adhesive for that because it's embossed I embossed this with the pull it out real quick it's right here 
stripes and splatters just because I thought the splatters looked kind of watery. So you can kind of see. We could have gone over it with a blending brush too and added some more depth, but I didn't do that. So we'll put that on there and leave an even border around those three sides. And then this guy we'll also put on, and I'm gonna put them on with liquid glue just because some of it will go over the embossed and I can move it around if I need to. So this one will go so that you have even on all three of those sides. There we go. And now, let me get this. You can put this on your real red piece. So I've got my seal. We're going to put it, now it's the same width as your real red. And put it towards the top. And then before you attach this to the card base, you want to take your ribbon, and I forgot to grab my tape. No, I didn't, it's right here. And just put a piece of that ribbon around the base of this. And tape it to the back. And that's ready to go on your card base. But before we go any further, I do want to glue these guys on my submarine so they have a minute to set before we start <clears throat> putting it on the card. So just a little, a little dab of liquid glue. You can use a glue dot if you are not comfortable getting a little dab of green glue. Put that on there. I covered up my periscope. Come here, guy. And again, a little dab on the bottom of that. Put that up there. All right, now we can just kind of set that aside, finish putting this away. I want that to give that just a minute to set before we um, start putting it on the card. So I'm using my bone folder to make sure this fold is nice and crisp. I'll we'll put our card base on there now, or real red. I'll just use some. And I like to stand them up like this because then I can make sure it's even on all the sides, and then you can turn it over and press it. Now we can tie, whoops, our other piece of ribbon around here. Since we just adhered it on the back, just tie this once. Well, okay, go that way. Like that, let me grab my scissors. Trim those down because we don't want them too long. There we go. All right, now we're ready to put our crab and our submarine, and that's it. We'll be done. Grab my dimensionals. So the little crab just needs one dimensional. And the submarine, I'll put about three on there just to kind of balance them out. Get that one. So he's gonna go up here in the water. And then your little crab goes down. But happy birthday. And there you go, it's all done. Isn't that fun? It's really a cute set. So let me show you the other cards I made with it. This one, I did not 
use the submarine at all. I just use some of those cute critters. And this is some of our um, plaid. This is blueberry bushel. And then these are some flat pearls that I put on there. They just seemed fitting for an underwater. And then this one is, I did like the catalog showed, I turned it upside down and made it a blimp. This is Azure Afternoon, this blue, and then Flirty Flamingo and Pool Party. And then these are some new embellishments. And this paper is new too. It goes with a hot air balloon suite, but I thought it went well with this. And then of course I had to make a yellow submarine. And these are some new, I don't know how well they're showing up, like gold flecked embellishments. And this is crushed curry. So there they all are. It was really a fun set to play with. Um, but next week somebody will win this card. And so, where did I put last week's card? Here it is. Let me tell you who won. Thanks, Betty. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, this fun watercolor melon card, Patience won. So I will get that to her. I know she's traveling at the moment, so um, I will get that to her soon. All right, thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you next Wednesday for something else fun. Bye.